Well, we've recently seen some scary stories of the dangers of social media making headlines across the country. While parents can't control everything their kids see, there are some ways you can make sure they are as protected as possible. THP 11's Mercedes McKay shares some tips. It's a world full of TikTok trends, Snapchat streaks, and Instagram influencers. 14-year-old nowadays is teaching me how to contour my makeup, and I'm almost a 40-year-old woman. Like a lot of families, social media is a major part of the James's lives. While Natalie's two daughters scroll through their apps daily, so does she. In the morning, it's just part of those daily tasks. You know, we're brushing teeth, they're getting dressed, and I'm going through cell phones and looking through different messages. James says while that monitoring may calm her worries a bit, the tough but open conversation she has with her kids about what can happen through the screen is key. It's harder being a kid now, and so I just want to make sure that I'm going through it with them so that they don't have to go through it by themselves. With the pandemic causing more kids to stay at home, they've spent more time scrolling through social media on their phones. In fact, the Children's Protection Center of Arkansas says they've seen an increase in reports of kids running into danger online. I've been here almost 10 years, and I can tell you that before COVID, uh, we always have a uh, number of cases increasing in the community. There's a big problem now, especially with COVID. As the senior forensic interviewer and outreach education coordinator, Lisette Yang spends a lot of her time working with kids and educating them on the dangers of social media. While she says lack of supervision is a major issue, it's not the only factor that can get kids into a scary situation. When you have kids that the schools are providing tablets or Chromebooks, uh, that even though they might have a password or, or a block, for them not to go to different sites. The kids are very smart and the kids know exactly how to remove these blocks. So what should parents do to protect their children? Yang says watch out for hiding apps and block your kids' laptop cameras when they're not using them so they aren't hacked. But most importantly, make sure there's open communication so your kids feel comfortable coming to you about a problem. The kids are always told to be quiet and to keep it as a secret, but cases like these, it's important that children need to learn that it's okay to tell. Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. Mercedes, thank you. Yang also added that while stranger danger online is still prevalent, they are seeing more cases where the predator actually is someone the child knows personally.